Hello Hoptubers, today I'm gonna show you how to use digital multimeter. Basic stuff, let's begin. When you decide to buy a digital multimeter, you must look for multimeter which can measure voltage, resistance, continuity and current. If you find one that measure capacitance and temperature as well, feel free to buy it. My digital multimeter is Fluke 17B and it's best multimeter that money can buy. It have automatic ranging functionality for many measuring fields, so we avoid wasting time with manual ranging. If you don't know which multimeter to buy, just get this one, Fluke 17B. It will do everything you need and you won't buy new one anytime soon. You can find link in description for this Fluke digital multimeter. Ok, now you have a multimeter and how do you use it? Let's start with measuring AC voltages, but first check the cables. Make sure the black lead is in the jack labeled COM or COM ON and you will never need to take it out because the black lead always goes to COM ON. The red probe is something you need to pay attention to. If you plug into the wrong jack you will blow a fuse in your multimeter, but this digital multimeter can protect itself on all stages, that why is the best multimeter money can buy. We gonna measure AC voltage right now, so I'm plugging the red probe into the jack labeled volts and ohms, not amps. Set the dial to measure AC voltage. Here I am measuring AC voltage in my outlet, it's 220 volts. Now we gonna measure DC voltages, so set the dial to DC voltage and once again make sure that the red probe is in jack labeled voltage. Touch the red probe to positive terminal of device and black probe on negative terminal and you should get a voltage reading. If you get wires backwards that is ok, you will get negative reading on your multimeter and this is good way to figure out polarity of measured battery. Measuring resistance is easy, just set the dial to resistance settings. Measuring continuity means checking is there a good connection between any two points in the circuit or wire. And whenever there is almost zero resistance between two points, the multimeter will beep. Final setting is to set the dial to measure current. And for almost all multimeter, there is a separate jack for measuring current. This multimeter has two amp jacks, one for currents up to 10 amps and one for currents up to 400 milliamps. I always place the jack to amps, if I need more accuracy I switch the jack to milliamps. In order to see how much current is flowing through some device, you have to cut the wire and set the multimeter in series with the flow and read how much amps is pulling the device. Hey, hit that thumb button with your mouse, is below the video and be honest when you last time click like. I know that the good videos should get likes and I can say that this video is pretty good one. These are basic stuff you need to know about digital multimeter. Thanks for watching, subscribe and visit my channel page American Hacker. I have over 300 video projects.